Hello everyone. In this video, I will be discussing about the distinction between object and documentary evidence. Object evidence. Object evidence are those evidence addressed to the senses of the court. When an object evidence is relevant to the fucking issue, it may be exhibited to, examined, or viewed by the court. So, what does it mean when it says that it should be addressed to the senses of the court? It should be addressed to the senses of the court in a way that it should be perceived by our own senses. So, what are those five senses? Our sense of sight, our sense of smell, our sense of hearing, our sense of taste, and our sense of touch. Now, it doesn't necessarily require that all of those should be present when offering an evidence to the court. As long as the court sees the murder weapon, there is no need for them to smell or taste the murder weapon. And in order for an object evidence to be admissible, it should be relevant to the fucking issue and should be subject for the commission of the crime. For example, in a shooting incident, the object evidence here is the gun that was used because it is clearly relevant to the fucking issue and it is subject to the commission of the crime because it is the murder weapon itself. So let's proceed to the documentary evidence. Documentary evidence is any deed, instrument, or duly notarized paper by which something is proved, evidence, or set forth. Documentary evidence are offered as proof of their contents. Documentary evidence include writings, letters, words, numbers, figures, symbols, other mode of written expressions, and the amendment also added recordings, photographs which includes still pictures, drawings, stored images, extra films, motion pictures, and videos. It also includes sounds and any of their equivalent. Requisites for admissibility. First, it should be relevant to the found issue. Second, the document should be authenticated and approved in the manner provided in rules of court. Third, it should be identified and marked. Fourth, it should be formally offered to the court. So now, how can we differentiate object evidence from documentary evidence? So when offering an evidence, if the purpose is to prove anything other than the contents, then it is object evidence. And if the purpose is to prove the contents, then it is documentary evidence. For example, if a mobile phone was offered as an evidence to the court and its purpose is to prove anything other than the contents, then it is an object evidence. On the other hand, if it was offered to prove its contents, like a text message, an email, then it is offered as a type of documentary evidence.